How's everyone doing? This is Mario from Sphero Robotics, and we're starting a new YouTube series called Problem Solve. What I'm going to be doing um, while I'm home is looking at household issues or problems that I find and putting a solution to it and possibly over-engineering it. What I'm going to be starting with is an issue that my mom brought to me. She said that, you know, we have dustpans, but really, who wants to use those? She found herself using an envelope and brushing it in with a broom, and I'm like, you know, we can't have that. So I came up with the idea of, let me get all my dustpans, and let's see how we can fix this, add a little robotics to it, and come up with a solution. So, I'm going to be doing a three-part video showing you how I step through this issue, and how we're going to come up with a better solution. And currently I'm thinking of an electric dustpan that as you go by, it just cleans everything up. Of course, it sounds like a vacuum, but we're going to build it way different. I started off by thinking, well, how can I do it? And what better way to figure out what I'm going to do than getting my bag of parts and seeing what I have. This is going to be all made with items that I have over the house and items that I've saved up. As we see here, we've got wire belts, we've got a bunch of motors. We're gonna see what works here. We got some wheels, and we're just gonna see how we're gonna go about it. What I'm currently thinking is the handheld dustpan, and then possibly a little drive around robot for cleaning up our robotics arena for the club we started. When we have competitions, it's gonna be combat robotics, the arena is going to get messy with shrapnel, so we're going to have a little bot that maybe drives around and sweeps up. Maybe it's something for the spectators to do. We'll see. There's going to be three parts. First part is our basic design idea, what the problem is, how we think we're going to solve it. Second video is going to be how we attempted to solve it, our solution, our prototypes. And then the third and final video is going to be maybe a little commercial selling it, and just would you buy it, would you not buy it, and how would you go about that? So I'm going to break down all that we have right here for you and step you through what our plan is. So here are all the motors and electronics that we think we might use. We could use some big servos, a smaller servo. We can go with some motors. Uh, we have about three different bigger sizes, a uh, faster but smaller one. And we have our Maxins, two smaller brushed, a hub motor idea that we could use. We could also hub motor with this one or belt and pulley. And we got our tiny ones. I also have a simple on off switch plus an old broken drone that I had with the camera. So maybe we could even put a camera on there, get some first person point of view on there. We have a bunch of belts we could use bigger belts, and pulleys, all that stuff. So what I'm gonna do is go through, test all these motors, check them for torque, speed, and what I really think is necessary for the project. Size them up on our dustpan, decide which pan we wanna use, and then we will see how far we wanna go with the project. But first we're just gonna do a basic initial sketch of what we think we wanna do. Can't do it. Okay, so we're gonna now go over our basic design ideas and how we think we're gonna go about this project. So, we do two views. The dustpan. Excuse my drawing also. I'm not an artist. with bro 
brushes. So this will spin, shooting things in. If it's spinning, shooting things in, we might have to make a little flexan lid that keeps stuff in. So we do that so it hits the brushes, and when it hits it, if it sticks to the brushes, it falls down in the pin. <clears throat> okay. So we'll box down here put our battery in there we could run it off of some of these little batteries or I could probably throw a 9 volt in there we'll see what is necessary from there we'll have our wires run down to the box back up you put a little push button on there so that when you're holding the dustpan you push the button and the intake runs in. design you push the button and they spin but also to make the design more fun after we get with the handheld for our final video we could do a little wheeled one all be on the inside because at the end of the day if we're picking up some shrapnel we're not going to need the whole bin and we'll be able to dump it out anyway battery pack would be right here and then we have our little receiver that our wires go to and the wires from the motor i think this is completely doable this is going to be a two-week project we're filming our first video today putting this up tomorrow and then gonna get working and by next Saturday we should have a working prototype and then by the third video we should have a little commercial clip to show you so we're gonna break this you 
Thank you for watching part one, and I will come back to you with a few different prototypes and can't wait to see you next week.